ಅಮೃತವಾಣೀ ಓ ಪ್ರೇಮವಾಣೀ ಓ ಪ್ರೇಮವಾಣಿ ಅಮೃತವಾಣಿ dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus the grace and blessings of the lord be always upon you dear brethren today holy mother the church celebrates the feast the solemnity of the all saints november 1st we celebrate the solemnity of the all saints today's celebration is just a dim reflection of the great celebration in heaven where the angels and saints are gathered around united in praising and worshiping god in heaven the church from age to age has been filled with so many saints has been blessed with the presence of saints both canonized and those who are not canonized in the book of revelation chapter 7 today's first reading we see st john saying this i saw a huge number impossible to count of people from every nation race tribe and language they were standing in front of the throne and in front of the lamb dressed in white robes and holding palms in their hands they shouted a lord victory to our god who sits on the throne and to the lamb then john is told why they are in heaven these are the people who have been through the great persecution and they have washed their robes white again in the blood of the lamb the saints were saints because they were faithful to the lord faithful to the lord even to the point of death that one thing is to be remembered that there are two things in every saint one is the effort of the saint and second is the grace of god a saint is not saint totally by his or her own efforts that is why paul writes in 1st corinthians chapter 15 verses 10 what i am now i am through the grace of god the saints lives of faith and endurance were made possible by god working in them and that's why they are where they are today and that's why we are here to thank god for his grace which was working in the life of saints and for the lives of saints which cooperated with the grace of god dear brothers and sisters in hebrews chapter 12 verses 1 to 2 we see with so many witnesses in a great cloud all around us we too then should throw off everything that weighs us down and the sin that clings so closely and with perseverance keep running in the race which lies ahead of us let us keep our eyes fixed on jesus who leads us in our faith and bring it to perfection for the sake of the joy which lay ahead of him he endured the cross disregarding the shame of it and has taken his seat at the right hand of god's throne a question for each one of us why do we pray to saints some of our brethren from other denominations would say that can't you directly pray to god what is the need of the intercession of saints we pray to the saints because they can help us in our journey to jesus because they have lived a earthly life like us but they did not give in to the pleasures of the world to the pressures of the world but being in the body they worshiped the lord in their spirit their spirit was stronger than their flesh and that's what they teach us dear brothers and sisters and that's what we learn from them and their intercession is really powerful because they are our brothers and sisters from every country from every generation and they can help us to go in the paths of god we have one ultimate goal in praying to the saints that through their prayers we may one day join with them in heaven 
where God's victory is lived. We ask them to help us to follow Jesus so that we too may looking at the cross gain victory over evil. So dear brothers and sisters, let us reflect upon the sanctity of our lives. It is not that the saints are a thing of past. Sanctity is a necessity of Christian life. Saints are a present Christian reality. It should be. The sainthood should be a living Christian reality. So all of us are called to this challenge of becoming saints. So let us close our eyes and make this small prayer. Eternal Father God, we thank you and praise you, wonderful Master. Lord, on this beautiful day when we commemorate uh, the saints, Lord Jesus, we ask you that we may not be on the part of those who are persecuting the saints, but we may be on the part of those who are persecuted for faith. And may we really live a life holy and blameless in your presence and become a part of your victorious church, the church in heaven. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.